Because even like during the pandemic, when things like really were like revving up, it was just like yeah. I'm sure you probably obviously couldn't do a lot of in person stuff. So you probably just yeah, did a lot it was of... Zoom. It was Zoom for sure. So you kind of missed that like whole definitely. Like I missed that whole wave. Even shows like a lot of shows got canceled mm -hmm. for like a year and a half, and like it was just the internet. I think I even did a a fucking show on live. Oh, what, like on IG Live or was it yeah. kind of like a, live, like a Twitch live stream thing? It was like on IG Live. I would never do it again, but <laughs> it was very embarrassing. We talk about, it's funny because like I keep having conversations about like back then because like it's just like, you know, as these shows are happening more now, like a lot of yeah. artists who I met on Zoom back then are now coming to the city for their own shows. And it's right. like weird because it's like yeah. we talk about it at the time because at the time we were like, oh yeah, this is like great it's like we we do our interview and then we mm -hmm. both get to go do whatever we want right. we don't even have to commute we don't got to right. go nowhere right. but like it also like now it's kind of like being back in person like it's yeah. kind of like me you miss like this yeah and it's kind of weird like you said because it's like we got so used to everything being so like technical and like mm. through the phone or whatever so yeah i knew that was gonna happen though from the pandemic which is why i was like freaking out in the middle of it because i'm like oh my god how long is this gonna last like <laughs> I don't want us to get used to this way of living because, like, I'm such a go. Like, I want to get up and do stuff. I don't like being in that mentality of, like, just waiting. Just staying still. Yeah. And I think, it's like, that. during that time, like, you talk about, like, doing, like, the IG Live performances. Like, I, <laughs> I get it. We It's funny because I think about, like, some of the stuff, like, our radio station had to do. Um, yeah. During that time, and I and I think back, I'm like, why the hell did we do, do that? that? <laughs> like, <laughs> that one, like, like. At the time, it was like, oh, yeah, this is a cool, cool idea. idea. But but at the same time, it was like, damn, like, we really did something like that? But yeah. I guess it's just like now because, like, the world is, like, semi-back to normal, open yeah. and shit like that. It, now it looks dumb. Yeah, it definitely looks dumb. But in the time, I think... Genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, IG Lives. Like, I remember people kept talking about how, like, important IG Lives were to the future of everything. And, I'm, and it's so not... Nobody even goes live anymore. Right. It's, yeah. <laughs> like I, I don't understand. I didn't understand at the time, but people were like, oh, watch your live stats are gonna become important to getting brand deals later on. All this and that. And then like, once everything started to open back up, it was just kind of like, uh, yeah, I'm kind of cool off that. Like, yeah, cause I think we used it as like a survival thing, cause like that's all we had at the moment was the internet. Everything was closed down. We was locked down. So of course, at the time, it was way important. But like now, people are like got to put that work in, especially as a new artist. I feel like just like we got pandemic babies, we got like pandemic artists. Mm. But like, you know, people who bloomed in that time or like surged through that time. And it's like all the things you were doing for survival then, it's like it's not going to work now because the world is constantly changing. So it's like, like that's probably why that shit feels weird dumb to us. 